We are always looking for that next musky fix to quench that burning desire to find those unexplored, untapped places. These unexplored wild places, well, they do exist. Here we go! Keys Outdoors Musky Hunting Adventures is brought to you by Great Clips, the Skeeter Boat Center, Ingle Coolers. This week, Dave and I, well, we were off once again chasing yet another rumor. This one, well, it was told to us by an old man, and of all places, a bar. Imagine that. A story told to us about huge muskies eating this guy's walleyes early in the spring run. Well, now there was nothing left for us to do except find out if these were just stories told to us by an old man. Well, we had too much to drink. Wild River float trip. It's a, it's a cool river, man. There's nothing, it's pretty secluded. Picking our way through the minefield of rocks and boulders. That's one thing with uh, an adventure like this, you gotta have a guy stand up front and I, um, this is just a crazy river, man. You hit these stretches where it's like one foot. That's what's cool about these war eagles, guys, is short shank on this motor, man. We're able to get where we need to go, and that's the important thing, but you got to have a guy stand up front. You don't want to do no damage. I mean, this is nothing but wilderness up here, and it would be a long day without a motor, that's for sure. All right, you gotta love that. Nice, healthy looking fish here, man. Floating a backwoods float trip. Tell you what, we practiced catch and release. That was quite the cluster right there, but the first fish of the trip, 
We moved another one. Can't say anything more than that, man. Small rivers have a lot of big opportunities. Again, guys, practice catch and release. A little slime time. Tell you what, guys, that's what this whole show is about. Dave and I, once again, chasing rumors. And when I say that, I really mean it. This is something that we've talked about for several years. Finally, we just bit the bullet on it and said, let's go do it. You're not gonna know if you don't throw. We did, and uh, not more than an hour into our trip, we moved a monster fish, about 45, but built really thick. And then this one just here, just ate on the new swimming dog, so we're on board. We have four days of this. This is our, this is our home for the next four days. <laughs> well, this is the way it goes. Rain moved in, slow moving cold front, lots of rain, um, and we are drenched. It sucks, but we will be back. We know that they're here. We got one fish, seen two others, seen a real big one last night, right towards evening. So we know that they're here, and but for now we're gonna scrap the trip it's just uh, impossible to film in the rain and with this cold front I mean the rain wouldn't bother me but the cold front definitely is gonna shut them down you know guys I was always told never start something that you can't finish and this week is no exception last week Dave and I were on a new body of water but then rain the weather played havoc on us and uh, kind of rain for two days I mean just torrential downpour and we couldn't finish this so and now we're gonna head back out on this new body of water once again chasing rumors and laying to rest once and for all that it's not rumors they're here we're back we are back for round two I was trying to park by you We're super excited. We got another way out there adventure off the beaten path. Small river here in northern Minnesota. Very little pressure. Uh, rocky, beautiful. Every time we're on these rivers, we talk about how beautiful and empty they are and how much there really is left to explore in the places we live in fish muskies. Uh, we're really lucky in that regard. So we're out here today. Mike and Dave know there's some fish here. It only makes sense there's some fish here. So we're gonna do what we can, try and get this system a little bit more dialed in. The summer peak is past. We're heading towards fall. Great time of year to fish, great time of year to get to these little rivers. That's what we're gonna try and do here for the next couple of days. We got some camping, we got some mosquito bites to look forward to. So let's get after it. One thing guys that we notice right away is uh, one we're dealing with a lot more current because of all the rain that we've got secondly the water temps have cooled when we were here we had 72 to 73 degrees and now we're at 68 
degrees. So uh, don't know what that's gonna do. It could be good, could be bad. We gotta figure it out. And uh, all we're gonna do is just keep throwing and try different tactics, go deep, go shallow, and try to figure out where these fish are and what they want to eat. That's the critical thing. What's gonna trigger them to eat? Everybody, that concludes day one up here. Once again, you know, we're on a river chasing muskies. We were here a week ago, caught one, seen two nice ones, but tonight nothing. We've got cold front conditions. We had rain come in, kind of shut things down. The next two days it's supposed to be bluebird, high skies, should be good. What do you think, Dave? Hey, it's musky fishing, and we're on a bigger uh, cold front again. We've been chasing those cold fronts around, and we've been timing them perfect, but. We got some steady weather coming for the next few days. That's always a positive thing. So we just gotta go plug in musky fishing. to pick your way slowly up these rivers. Gives you a good idea how things lay out, what the geology's like, where the holes are, what kind of depth you're gonna have, what kind of weeds are there. So carefully picking our way up here, see how far we can get up. We don't wanna push it too much. Make sure we have uh, a fishable platform by the time we get there. No good to knock your prop off before you get up the river. Okay. I mean, I got another. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. Oh my god, was that a dandy? Oh, was that a big fish? Where'd he go? He went there up this way, Dave. I'm gonna swing us up again. Oh, 
fresh too, dude. It is. You gotta look at her that thing. It's a good one. Here she is, here she is, here she is, here she is. Stop, stop, Shut stop, more stop, up, stop, shut stop. more up, shut more up. She spooked, Dave? No, nope, she's leaning right here, dude. Get a picture of her, man. Look how big she is. That's a 50 incher, dude. Easy. Look at the size of that, unless there's two of them here. Look That's at, over 50, Mike. It's like 52, right, right here. here. Big white. Throw your bait there, Mike. Oh, yeah, I see it. There's more than one fish here, dude. Yeah, it's not even budging. Fisher. He had one, the one that, yeah. The one that followed him? Yep, that's the one. Did he actually nip, Mike? Oh, yeah. There he is, here he is. Big one. Yeah, big one. Oh, dude. That's on camera. Well, guys, day two of our adventure here, and I'll tell you what, it's looking good, man. We've seen some horses. We did about a two to three hour float drive up didn't fish, seen a couple fish on the way up, you know, as we had the guy in the front of the boat. And then what we did is we came back and we were just like, man, we're six hours float from where we're camping. So we were like, let's just drop in. It was noontime, let's just drop in. We dropped in, made a cast, about a 45 incher came in on the new bait. I caught one on the river here last week on this. This is the regular swim dog by Muskie Innovations. And I'll tell you what, this thing has been, uh, Boy, I'll tell you what, it's a great bait. Perfect size, especially for the river here. And then what we did is uh, had her up, turned about a 45 incher, she nipped at the bait. We set up again on top of the hole, which is good. When you see those fish up in the top of the hole, that means that they're getting ready to stage to feed. And then we raised two fish, one was, we're saying 54, another 50 incher on Ben's fly. So again, what we're doing is we're just gonna let things calm down here, take a little break. We just floated the rest of this hole. We're gonna go back up stealth and we're gonna float it again. Get those fish to reposition themselves, set up the way that they were, and hopefully this time we'll stick them. As soon as we get close, Ben, I'll turn that front end upstream and I'll throw a few you mean in. as soon as you make yeah. all the good casts. <laughs> I'll throw a few in there first. Right. <laughs> Once I make all the good casts then I'll turn it so you can make a few. It's the second day coming to an end. It's about 8 o'clock at night, and uh, we're going to fish one more spot, but uh, we've been getting off early because the bugs are actually crazy here. And uh, we're going to eat some chow and go. We, we do have some real positive stuff that we're going to be going back on tomorrow. Temperatures are climbing. It's going to be about 77 degrees. It was 72 today, and we have moved about five or six fish, and two of them are giants. So, we're really excited about being here and what's going on and we've got a lot of good things. We've only been fishing here a second time and I'll tell you what, stick with us and hopefully tomorrow we can bag one of these big buggers.
parking space is the ultimate necessity for us in a small boat like this. I'll tell you what, we don't go anywhere without our angle backpacks. To keep your food cold for days, check out the angle backpack by angle. Well, everybody, this is the worst part of uh, this river fishing is a long journey up. You're passing really awesome water that you just want to stop and cast. But we got to get up top and we got to make our way back down. And this is the this is the part I don't like about it is uh, all these good holes we're passing. But it's the way that it goes. Sometimes, working with Dave and Mike, I find myself just alone on an island. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm good. You got him? Yeah. All right, buddy. I'll tell you what. What the hell? He's a river fish. Play him. Give him. You know how to fly it. That thing come out of nowhere and gulp down that musky right, buster. Buddy. You ready? Yep. No, she's not ready. She's good. Here we go, Michael. Yep. In the big yes, way to go, bud. Come out of nowhere, man, and just gulped on that musky buster. It's the second one we saw in this hole. Just saw a bigger one than this one, but this one's a monster too. All right. Boy, I'll tell you what, we worked very hard, like always. You know, uh, Dave and I were here a week ago, and we ended up with about a 41, seen two other fish, enough for us to come back, bring Ben Olson with us, and uh, first day we got here, it was rainy, it was, it was terrible conditions as far as cold front, didn't see a fish. Yesterday we seen a bunch of fish, two of them over 50 inches, and that's why we came back to this hole where this, these fish were, and lo and behold, it didn't take long, and Dave scored. Got a hole over here? Oh, let's take a look. Oh, I'll tell you what. What a damn What an fish, awesome man. fish, guys. River fishing. Woohoohoo! Nice. That's exciting, man, on a musky buster. Good job, buddy. Balger. Custom color. What's Custom the, color, yeah. October that's uh, Oktoberfest by Musky Buster. They seen the success we had with uh, with uh, Mayhem, Mayhem that they decided to do a color scheme as well. And lo and behold, man, in these dark stained waters, that orange black combo is unbeatable. What unbeatable. A fish. And they are green, boy. I'm going to tell you what. As far as the old man, well, he was telling the truth. There are muskies in that river, and I don't doubt for one minute that they were eating his walleyes. 
for Ben, Dave, and I, well, it was just another new destination for us to look forward to going to. One. Keys Outdoors Musky Hunting Adventures has been brought to you by Great Clips, the Skeeter Boat Center, Yamaha, reliability starts here, Ingle Coolers, and all of our other KO sponsors. Make sure you like us on Facebook, join our Keys Outdoors YouTube channel, and follow us on Instagram.